Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Lately, I have been receiving a lot of questions on a mini hydroponic system for growing fruit trees because uh, in one of the videos, I showed a, a few pear plants or pear trees that I started in the mini system and uh, people were interested in how I did it and uh, how it grew so fast. So uh, today I'm gonna go through the process and show you exactly how I do it and you'd be amazed at how fast they grow in systems like this. So here I have two fruit trees. These are pear trees. Uh, they're actually Asian pears and completely grown in the mini hydro system. And also I'm gonna show you how to refill uh, the nutrients when it's low. The process is very easy and I mean, you'll be so amazed at the, the growth so um, I'm going to show you how to do this and I actually already started a lemon tree so I will show you that now. Here it is. This is my lemon that I started um, I think a week or two weeks ago. Uh, it's, it took about a week for the plant to, uh, to sprout and then a few days for it to grow to this size. So um, I'm going to show you how I did this. And then we're going to track the process of this and see how fast it grow. So what you're going to need is a lemon seed or any fruit trees that uh, you would like to grow. And then a rock wool cube. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the seed in here like so. And then soak it in water and put it in a net cup like this. And then to create the system, you just cut the cups or the bottle in half right where that groove is right under the label okay and then you have your system and then you put it like so and then use a koozie any kind you have and put it like that and then you would wrap it uh, a ziplock bag over it like this so that it will keep the moisture in and keep the rock wool always at a at the stage that you need it to be for the plant or the seed to sprout in about seven to ten days they will sprout like this So once they sprout, you don't want to feed them immediately. Just give, give the plant some water until it gets about this size here. And eventually the roots will come out to the bottom. And then when the roots come out to the bottom, that's when you're going to feed it nutrients. And then wait for it to grow. So as you can see, the net cup ends right there. So you don't want to go all the way up here. You want it, the water level to touch. For my nutrients, I just uh, mix it a gallon at a time. And um, I, it's very, very easy to mix nutrients, guys. So don't make it too complicated. Fill it up with one gallon, just straight out of your tap. And then use a pH meter to measure it. So I will list all of the, the ingredients, I mean, the, the material you need. Uh, to uh, obtain if you if you want you can check the description so fill it up with one gallon of water and you can either put the nutrients in first and then check your pH which is recommended this is what I use five milliliter per gallon and the pH is at five nine so put the nutrients in the water Make sure it, it disperses evenly and then you would check the pH and if the pH is still above um, 6 then you would use pH down. Just do a medicine dropper and just drop a few drop in and then wait and then test it. Once it's around 5.9 to 6.3 that's perfect. Uh, anything higher uh, just adjust it to that that range and do not let it go below 5.9 5.5 is okay but just stay between the 5.9 to 6 range which I find works the best 
So it's very easy. I've made so many videos on how to make nutrients already, so I'm not gonna go over that. Basically, one gallon of water, five milliliter of the nutrients, and then pH 5.9. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to refill the nutrients. So you see, it slightly touched the bottom of my net cup, and that is all you need. Put this back, and then put the plant under your light setup. And uh, here is some peppers that I did. So the peppers uh, gotten a little bigger. So basically all I did was uh, give this the full bottle. So you just cut the top off so that the net cup can fit in. And that way it has more reservoir space. So you refill less and it has more room to grow. And you see fruits there. So that, that, that's how easy it is. So right now, this is how big this plant is. Uh, I'm gonna wait a few weeks. Uh, once I feed this nutrients, uh, I'm gonna show you how fast it grows. So we're gonna track this, uh, the plant's progress and then uh, I'll come back and update you guys. All right guys, it has been uh, three days since I started the recording and uh, my lemon tree has finally sprouted roots to the bottom of the cup. Then there's a small tiny root there. Let me show you. Might be a little hard to see, but there's a tiny root there. So what we're gonna do is start feeding them some nutrients. So what we need to do is pour the nutrients in so that it will touch the bottom of the net cup. And there we go. So now it's touching the roots. And what we're going to do is put this back and place this in under a light. And then we'll check back with it in about a week or so. All right, guys, welcome back. It has been, I think, about three months now since I started this project. And I completely forgot about uh, recording the video, so it's been a very long time. And uh, today the lemon tree is looking pretty good overall. Uh, look at the size of the trunk. This is how you can tell that um, the plant is uh, has been grown for a few months. The trunk uh, kind of developed this uh, a harder layer here. It looks like a tree trunk. And the young pear trees would look like that. You know, it doesn't have that the out, outer bark layer. So after a month or so, I noticed that the lemon leaves have uh, these, this color look right here and um, I was wondering what it was and so I inspected further and I found that there were mites on here like there's tiny little mites and they're very difficult to see so uh, I got a magnifying glass like these here and it actually helped uh, find those little little bugs they're very small I mean they don't do a lot of damage so you may not see them for a long time but grown indoors um, with peppers and any type of uh, plants, uh, you usually would see those uh, pests and they would set your plants back. So I think it's, it started with my pepper uh, plants and it is spread over to the, the, the lime here. And then um, all you have to do is, is mix a, uh, a spray with neem oil and soap with water. And I have a video on how to do the mixture but I'll show you how to do it. Uh, just I'll, I'll just explain it. So you use a 32 ounce bottle and then you put two spoons of uh, neem oil in here into the container and one spoon of soap, any kind of soap, dish, dish soap if you want and uh, mix it all up in spray and that should take care of uh, most of the mites. So you wanna spray um, multiple times 
because they may have eggs somewhere on the plant so it will hatch like in a few days so you spray it and then three days later spray it again and three days later spray again and that should take care of everything so uh, my my lime has uh, this leaves but the mites are gone so they're growing really really well so uh, I recently just rinsed out the container because it had uh, it had algae at the bottom so uh, I'm show you what it looks like right now okay so uh, here is what the roots look like you see how it's kind of like outgrown the container so I should put this in a larger container but um, uh, surprisingly this tree here doesn't drink uh, as fast so I, I just didn't change it uh, it actually drink less nutrients than than the pepper plant is is weird but uh, I moved a bunch of the other plants outside and uh, the, the the two pear trees in the beginning of the video let, let me show you what they look like right now I moved them into soil all right guys here they are these are the pear tree that you saw early in the video the two that were grown in the little container so I brought them out here and man they just took off because uh, um, when I took these guys outside they were fine there was no damage with mites and stuff like that so uh, they grew pretty well so this guy here look at this he's growing all the way there and then this one is kind of slower so uh, those are the two pear trees that I grew in the mini hydro and I will do the same for the uh, the lime tree as well so let's go back inside and uh, refill the nutrients okay so it is time to refill and uh, when I grow in these mini systems when I refill I always have the nutrients touch the bottom of the net cup because the top layer here there are some roots there so they can breathe with just that so let's refill and I usually mix these uh, nutrients in a one gallon and I leave it around uh, you can have it for up to two to three weeks and they're fine okay so you see it's uh, kinda touching the bottom and that's usually how I refill the nutrients that is it guys so uh, it's a very fun experiment to do you can actually grow fruit trees in these mini setups so for those that live in small small places, uh, condos or apartments, or you guys live in the city but you want to do some gardening, uh, try out this method. It's very fun. Uh, you can grow peppers as, a, as a, I've shown in many other videos before. You can get fruits out of them. Uh, you can grow fruit trees. I grew pears and this is my lime. So uh, that's it guys. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, Please leave it below and thank you so much for watching.